windows are boarded and birds have been living here. <laughs> we need a new waharo DIY. Come and help us get it in. And man, have we made a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you have, brother. You've put me under the pump. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very humbling experience, really. We have to bring our people back. They come from the highest mountain. It's an honour to be here. We are family. I got all my sisters with me. Mix this like a pudding with a bit of milk, a bit of sugar. And I reckon if the Indians were here, they would love this because I know they do something like this. A photo of my great grandfather uh, Joe Warbrick. He captained the native team that toured in 1888. They introduced the black jersey, the silver fern, and the haka. It was freezing in the dressing sh uh, sheds where they getting changed, so he said to the boys, Come on, let's do a haka to warm up. And they did this haka, and of course, the spectators in the park would hear all this racket going on in the sheds. And yeah. they, when they came out, they said, Can you do what you done in there? And they, they did it again, did the haka again, and ever since then, it's been a major part of our, our rugby history. And everybody doesn't really care. Things are going to be a bit muddy. That day is not finished, that day is not finished. My lovely nannies. You like what we did? Oh, gorgeous. What we've done, what you've seen so far? Yes. Had a little beep to myself. <laughs> because I think of the times when we used to come here as children and play. I'm grateful that you, DIY, are here to make it look beautiful for our grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs>